on the phone line, right? You got him on hold. Lil Wayne, you there? Hey, Felicia. They don't sound like Wheezy, though. No, I, I, this means, baby, I had something to pause. I had something in my mouth. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Miami, live on the phone. We got Wheezy F, baby. A 99 Jams exclusive. Felicia Monet takeover exclusive. Listen, you know you got the whole entire city up in arms. You know that, right? Yeah, I heard about that. That's what I, that's what I want to clear up. But do you understand with the comments that you made, for those just now tuning in, uh, All Star went down in Houston this past weekend, and, and you were at a party, your party, and you jumped on stage, and, you know, you were vibing. I'm pretty sure you had some things in, in, in your cup, and you, you said F the, my, the, the NBA, F Miami Heat, F D Wade, F Chris Bosh, and I F'd his wife. Those were the comments that you made, right? Yeah. Um, first of all, I didn't even have a cup. Okay. I can't drink. Yeah, I can't drink anything. Um, actually, I had a little bit too much to think that night. Oh, I had too okay. many thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> I had too many. I had too many thoughts on my on my mind that night. But um, let me start off by saying I don't apologize for that night. I don't apologize for being who I am. That's who I am. This is who I am. And yes, I did say those things. And um, only thing I do want to want to take back from saying that night, I said F LeBron. I didn't mean to say that because. Me and LeBron, we are cool, and I'm really cool with his mom, and we have a real good relationship, and that's my homie, but it just slipped out. I didn't mean to say that. So out of all the things you said that night, that is the only thing you take back. You don't take back saying that you F Chris Bosh's wife? Other, mm -hmm. other than that, other than that, though, I don't take nothing back. Like I said, I don't apologize for being me. This is who I am. Now, now, do you want an explanation for where all that came from? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I could definitely respect you standing by what you say, but if the only thing you take back is F LeBron, I mean, you jumped out and said you F, you know, the next man's wife publicly. You didn't. You don't feel like that's like, like a, a form of humiliation or, you know, is it even true? That ain't important. Actually, um, I was just having a conversation with Baby on stage when I said that or whatever I said. But like I said, that was my fan in there. Mm -hmm. wasn't I wasn't on a television show. I wasn't on a radio station. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. In, I wasn't in front of nobody's video camera. I was on stage and at a mic. At whose party you said that party was again? It was a little Wayne party. Yes, it was. I thank you, thank you. That was my party on my at my party on my stage. I can say what I want, sweetie. Before we uh, took that quick break, you said that you weren't apologizing, and the only thing that you take back would be uh, F. LeBron. Like, like I said, I'm not apologetic for nothing. Not, nothing. Not, the only thing I take back is from saying F. LeBron, because that's the homie. But like I said, I ain't apologetic for nothing. I, for being who I am, I am who I am, and doing what I do is what I do. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the city of Miami, I, I do want to apologize for the misunderstanding and whatever, whatever have taking place that everybody thinking that I got something against the city because that's totally, totally, totally wrong. I mean, these people accepted me with open arms from day one. Right. Since I was a hot, since I was a hot boy. So it ain't, a, it's just, just totally sports, y'all. This mm -hmm. ain't got nothing to do with the Miami, the city of Miami. Do you understand, do you, can you understand? This is my home though. Uh -huh. What'd you say? Can you understand why people in Miami would feel disrespected? I mean, you live here. You party here. Uh, I can understand if they, I mean, because if they, 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 they heat fans, yeah, I can feel the heat fans feeling disrespected. But as far as just you living in a, a person in Miami, being from Miami, thinking that I'm disrespecting you, I'm here to say that I'm not, totally not. But I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. I'm just a fan of who I'm a fan of. And like I said. All right, but Lil Wayne, if you're just now uh, uh, tuning in, we do have Lil Wayne on the phone. He is uh, talking about the comments that uh, he made. If you're just now tuning in to 99 Jams, remember, tweet at 99 Jams -E uh, But where did all this come from, though? Where is this stemming, stemming from, Lil Wayne? Okay, so I was at the Heat game, right? And we and it was, they were playing the Lakers. I'm a, I'm a huge Laker fan. Mm -hmm. and, so, and so, mind you, I spend a million point five a year on those tickets. If you see me sitting, when you see me at that game, don't think nobody, I don't get a discount. Nobody hooks me up. I spend a million point five a season on those tickets, okay? There's a, now, now, when I go to these games, the, the, the teams that they always play in, there's, there's at least, those teams make it a thing to say what's up to me. It don't, that don't make, it don't flatter me or anything. That's just real people being real. Now, I was at the game. And the boy, the boy, uh, I'm rooting for my team. I'm saying, go lay whatever. You know, Chris Bosh, you can't hit a shot. D-Wade, stop crying. I'm saying whatever I want to say. I'm a fan of who I'm a fan of. 
Mm. So, so I said, so the boy D Wade comes over there and he looks at me. I say, y'all don't, y'all don't f with me. I don't f with y'all. Y'all don't f with me. He looked me dead in my eyes, and his, his exact words was, "We don't." He didn't say, "I don't." He said, "We don't." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so I said, "Okay." I said, "Well, f you then." He said, "What well, f you?" Nine Nine Jams exclusive right now. Okay. So from that point on, I'm turned up. You know what I mean? From that so so now you gotta understand. So I'm taking it all the way back to this is a person sitting on the sideline that's been a million point five a year to come see y'all play, and you just told him that you don't f with him. Mm. So from from that point on, it's f everything about the heat. You feel me? Mm. It's ninety nine jams a takeover. Felicia Monet exclusive. And so and so what happened is. I, I wasn't approached by nobody. They, nobody. I wasn't approached by nobody t- telling me to get out. What happened was I was given a tip. Somebody came gave me a tip that they was about to come tell me to get out. Mm-hmm. So so what I did was I took, it upon, I, I took it upon myself to go around and ask them myself. I asked them, I was like, excuse me, I just heard that uh, I was about to be put out or something, scored it out. And the guy was like, well, what happened is we want, we needed, we want you to, um, we just want to make sure you're not going to make any more obscene gestures. And I was like, I've seen gestures, I don't get it. I'm, I'm a fan of who I'm a fan of. And it was like, no, no, no. There was a fan behind me that told me to sit, sit. Like, that was like, Lil Wayne, sit your ass down. Right. And I turned I turned around and I, I like shot the bird at him. But me and him was laughing. The, me and the fan, we playing with each other. You know what I mean, Paul? We, we laughing back and forth. But the guy was like, nah, I was just going to come tell you, don't be making no obscene gestures towards no one. Like that. I was like, did you tell that fan anything? And he was like, yeah, we, we spoke to the fan as well. We told the fan, blah, 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 blah. But I, I said, I, I get it. I get it. Y'all want me out of here. And I maybe I was a little too upset. And I walked out. That's what that was about. So it was voluntary. So like, yeah, I walked out. I walked out. Because, uh, like I said, the dude, once I, I was too heated, and once the homie hadn't told me he don't F for me and all that, I was too heated. So, And I already, like I said, I got a real tip from, I can't, I don't want to get who I got the tip from. But I got a real tip from somebody that knew what they were talking about. He was like, hey, I was just approached by the veto. They had approached him, the person that gave me the, the advice. It was like, they just approached me and told me that they're about, to, they're about to tell you to get out if you stand up one more time. So obviously I left. I was like, if I know I can't stand up and root for my team, then I'm about to get out of here. Well, 